your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Johnson's Appliance and Bedding, a third generation family owned and operated business located in Ocean City and Wildwood, New Jersey. Check us out in store or visit us online at johnsonsappliances.net. I can't believe it's already Wednesday. We are right here smack dab in the middle of the week, actually gearing up for another weekend. Where does the time go? I feel like I ask that question every single day, but I'm sure there's a lot of you in the same boat as myself. Anyway, we are off to a sticky start. We're off to a foggy start for some of you, so be careful if you're hopping and bopping around the roadways first thing in the morning as dew points and air temperatures are close enough could be looking at visibilities being reduced. Currently sitting at 74 in Mays Landing, 72 in Hamilton, 71 in Media, 70 out in Lancaster, 75 our warm spot down in Cape May, 72 in Duckerton, and 71 a little farther up the parkway in places like Tom's River. So generally a green light across the board in the travel, but there could, like I said, be a couple areas of patchy fog. By nine o'clock, we're already up to 80 degrees. Today is gonna be warmer than yesterday. It's going to be a bit stickier than yesterday as well. Uh, get used to it because over the next couple of days, we are still going to keep that comfort factor kind of on the lower side. Make sure that you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're checking up on your neighbors and all that good stuff. You want to make sure everybody is happy and healthy. High pressure still down to our south and west. And this has been the driver behind the pattern that we have been in. A little bit of a dip in the jet to the east that has given us some cooler air clearly not the case today we're not dealing with any kind of cool weather but uh, you know by and large the overall pattern has been for cooler weather in the east we have this zonal flow and that's going to mean bugs at the beach today not much of a sea breeze initially maybe later on in the afternoon if we're lucky any morning fog and clouds burn off a lot like yesterday where we try to become partly to mostly sunny in the afternoon. Now, this model's not really doing a good job of picking up on it, but I believe there could be a couple isolated showers or thunderstorms this afternoon. Not a significant deal at all. Tomorrow, you know, late morning, early afternoon, we could see a little more organized rain come in. We need it. We really need like an all-day stratified rain event. It just doesn't look like we're going to get that, uh, but... Thursday, Friday, both present an opportunity for at least some measurable rain. And you know what? We'll take what Mother Nature will give us. About 91 today with a northwest wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. If you're trying to get to the beach for some relief, just be mindful there will likely be bugs out there today. So bring the bug spray with you. You're not going to get away from this tropical soupy feel no matter where you go, even with the cooler weather at the beaches today. Same thing tomorrow. Same thing on Friday. Dew points in the lower 70s, but we do get a break by the weekend, and we are certainly looking forward to that. So ocean water temperature today about 65, 87 on the sand, warmer than yesterday at the beaches because of that westerly wind. We have a low rip current risk and a moderate to high UV index. Sticky, uncomfortable tonight, maybe a passing shower or thunderstorm tomorrow for your Thursday. I think a better chance of organized rain in the afternoon, about 82 degrees and the winds will shift off of the ocean. So that sea breeze that will be lacking today for the most part, will be back tomorrow. 85, more scattered showers and storms on Friday. Weekend is looking beautiful right now. Lower 80s and lower humidity as well.